Hello, let's see, this is YouTube video 2000 for me. Um, now I've made more than, you know, uh, some, a lot of videos get deleted for, because they're bad or, uh, but right now when I upload this video, this will mean that there's 2000 videos by me here on Howard's Notebook. So, I'm not sure I have anything for this video of 2000, but I want to get it uploaded. So, um, I'm using Manicam, and the computer that I'm using is a refurbished, you know, two hundred dollar Dell computer works great. Uh, I'm using a uh, Razer a USB webcam. I'm using the Elgato Wave Three microphone. Um, let's see here. Um, Let's go to, I'm not sure, let's see, it's already at home, I think. I think this is home. No, it's not. wonder why that's home. <laughs> let's go to shorts. Can you draw this without ever lifting your pen off? During Operation Rolling no. Thunder. Oops, and okay, this is not showing up. Okay. Okay, this line here is also not, I guess, let me see, wait a minute, let me try going here to my channel. Uh, okay, when I go down here, that, I don't think that shows mine. Uh, but I think this does. So these are my videos. Here's one from 15 years ago. The uh, Clicking Beetle. One from eight years ago, the uh, pill cutter. One from 14 years ago, uh, the Quick Cam Pro 9000. And then from 13 years ago, the Microsoft Life Cam, which um, Darlene has on her computer, you know. Um, Let's see here. These are the videos that I made. Actually, I think my daughter LaDonna, LaDonna made, uh, actually, I don't think I was making any of myself. And she was using an Apple uh, phone and she used the software in there. Uh, I don't think I still, I don't think I uh, even touched her. In the past, I think somebody had said, hey, here's a, you know, an Apple, you know, cell phone. I said, don't let me touch it. <laughs> don't, you know, I know I would like it and I don't want to, you know, go through that. But anyway, so I watched her in a very short period of time uh, using her cell phone, the Apple, to make the, uh, you know, make the video. Fantastic, yeah. Um, So, I don't think there's an easy way, or I would jump back to, what is it, 15, 16 years ago, whatever, when YouTube began. Uh, and I was there, of course. I was there for years before. I was doing streaming video before there was a YouTube. Managed videos, custom videos community. I don't think there's a way to get back easily to right, show it, give you a little idea of this in the beginning one, because I did actually look the other day. Uh, I went back, forget how I got there, and uh, uh, 
so to some of the very earliest uh, videos that I made, you know, the assassination of John F. Kennedy, uh, a 2000 census, and there, you know, and it was interesting, there was a few uh, things like somebody made a comment something like amazing, you know, 15 years old or something, you know, made a video 15 years ago, so. Um, so anyway, changing the subject, because I don't have a subject, I like the camera where it is, and it's actually sitting on top of the little Dell computer, which is, you know, uh, which is, uh, you know, right there. I mean, I'm, you know, that far from, from it. The microphone's right down here, and I've sort of discovered that, uh, I wondered when I set this up, you know, that, okay, the microphone's over there. That, but I've sort of discovered that I usually, and then I also have this table here, uh, and I have some stuff on it to uh, look at or whatever, so, um, it's uh, about just about 11 p.m. I'm tired and by the way I need I have someplace a couple two hats I've thrown this out before and uh, but I mean my head you know uh, looks terrible from the surgery I had on top of my head of, you know, cancerous, skin cancer on the top. The doctor did really well, because it was big. Um, but I'll throw this out again. Uh, if you have, not a MAGA hat, by the way. <laughs> I am, I'm a liberal Democrat. Uh, but if you have some hat that's new, um, you know, in the wrapper or something, or, either, or if you want to order something, you know, uh, and have it, I'll wear it. If it's like for your church or your college or something like that, and you want to send it to me, uh, you might check with me first and ask, you know, would I, you know, if it's, uh, a MAGA hat, no way. <laughs> and uh, if it's a, I'm sorry, but if it's a religious, uh, you know, right wing, conservative, uh, no, I won't. I won't wear the hat. So I mean, you know, before you purchase one and have it sent to me, you might want to check with me. And, but otherwise, when, if you do send a hat or something for your company or, you know, church or something, um, or, okay, here's one, no, uh, Greenpeace. Don't send a Greenpeace hat. I mean, I was a, a fan, you know, subscriber, and the whole the whole thing. And my daughter, my oldest daughter, uh, she was the manager of the Greenpeace office in Kansas City, Missouri. And then later she moved on. She was the uh, manager of. Uh, Let's see, East Coast, where was that? Anyway, a town on the East Coast, not New York City or anything, it was, but I've heard of it, you know. And she was the, uh, you know, the person who ran that office. And uh, then she went to, was sent to Los Angeles, I think it was, I think. And she ran the Greenpeace office there. But anyway, when she was running the first office uh, in Kansas City, Missouri area, uh, 
she went out to Overland Park, Kansas, which is right across. And she, what, she, what, what, what the way they did it then was like the employees would go out <coughs> and go to, you know, different, and they'd come up, you know, I'm, I'm with Greenpeace, and they'd have like a flyer, you know, this is what legislation here or, or whatever, and uh, if you'd like to join, here's an application where you can join, you know, Greenpeace. You can make a donation to Greenpeace, uh, that type of thing. And uh, so anyway, she was out in Overland Park. It's kind of a wealthy, I mean, of course, there's always, you know, areas, but it's uh, like a lot of executives and things like that instead of living in Kansas City, Missouri. I'm sure there was some that lived in Kansas. Uh, but, you know, Overland Park was, that was like, you know, like Beverly Hills or something, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, she knocked on the door and a lady came to the door and uh, LaDonna did her little spiel, you know. And the lady said, I'm not interested. And LaDonna said, okay, uh, thank you very much. Walked down started down the sidewalk to the next place and a car pulls into the place that she just left. A uh, guy gets out, kind of loud, and, you know, he, he goes to the door and he's asking his wife, who was that that was here at the door? And she says, oh, uh, somebody with Greenpeace or whatever. And then he goes down, you know, and he's a uh, high-ranking officer with the Overland Park, with the Overland Park police department and uh, and he yells at you know my daughter and said uh, what are you doing here you know and she said well, I'm, I'm with green you know has ID you know I'm with Greenpeace and and everything and whatever and he said oh, and he says something like oh you're a hippie then you're one of those you know and he's saying stuff you know showing that his political you know and okay and I uh, just have to take it from my word. <laughs> my oldest daughter, and still, I, I think she still probably looks that way. I mean, she looks like she's like 14 or 15. Well, she did then, you know. She looked really, really young. And, I mean, you know, you'd all, you know, if you're a father or a grandfather or something like that, oh, you know, that'd be, you know, or it could be a son, you know. And, and I mean, somebody that's, you know, this is not... <laughs> You know, this is not a uh, terrorist or uh, anybody that's, you know, going to do anybody any harm, you know. That's and so he calls for a police car, a district car to show up, and the officer shows up. This is, of course, my daughter telling me, you know, later, uh, you know, he, he, the officer shows up and, <clears throat> okay, uh, you know, I guess this guy probably, the officer probably says, uh, yes, sir, uh, you know, colonel or whatever his, you know, rank is or something. What, what it, you know, I want her arrested uh, for, you know, for uh, you know, came to the door, green, I'm not sure exactly how that conversation went. Uh, you, you want her arrested for going to the door for, you know, uh, Greenpeace? Or <laughs> and he says, yes, you know, handcuff her, you know, and so... Another officer shows up, you know, because he got out there. Was, there was a call, you know. So another officer shows up, and the other officer is like, uh, "We're we're supposed to arrest her." Yes, they, yeah. So they take her to the station, and uh, then of course she can call me from the you know the police station in Overland Park. But while while she's there, she's sitting there. <laughs> in the chair and these officers are coming in on from patrol and stuff like that. Who's that little girl? Oh, you know, what's what's she here for? And uh, and the officers are saying, uh, let's I don't know what his rank was, let's say let's say Major Smith. Major Smith wanted her arrested. And they they go like, Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So anyway she called me and I just came in. I um, 
I was a reserve police officer. In addition to being a hospital security officer for 30 years, I was a reserve police officer. And now normally the reserve officers, we did one night a week. And I did, Sunday night was the night that I, for years, and I never missed one. And a reserve officer, you didn't have to go in. But I worked ever, you know, ever so. But anyway, they had, sometimes they would call me and say, could you come in and do a day shift? In which case they paid me, you know. And, uh, but I had just done a day shift. So I, uh, I come home and the phone rang. I just came in and the phone rang and I got it. And I said, I'll be right there. So I don't think I remember now, but I'm sure my daughter would have said, you know, Oh, my dad will be here in, you know, an hour or something like that. And they have a jail there. They, when I got to the Overland Park Police Department, they had transferred her to the county jail, and she was locked up in the county jail. So, anyway, um, I forget what they call. I never came in what they call the law that, especially a lot in the in the past. Uh, a lot of the states, as you're driving on the highways, they had this, I should be able to remember it, a sign that would say, such and such ordinance enforced. And that was a thing that a whole bunch of states passed, that uh, you couldn't go to somebody's door uh, soliciting or a few things like, you know, you couldn't do those things. Unless you'd go to town, I guess, and go to the police department and say, now, could I get a permit, please, to go, you know? But it had already been to the Supreme Court numerous times that that did not apply to people going to the door for political reasons or going to the door for religious reasons. If you have, you know, your Baptist church or Presbyterian church or whatever, and you see that sign while you're driving to some town or whatever, no, you can go to the door. And that's federal, you know, the, the Supreme Court had ruled that you could and had ruled that, you know, you could have those things, signs up, I'm sure. Of course, I think a bunch of places took them down. But it did not apply for religious because of the Constitution of the United States. So anyway, uh, I called the, uh, she worked for Greenpeace. Oh, anyway, LaDonna told me that Greenpeace said that they were just going to, I was going to plead guilty, that she was going to plead guilty, and then they would pay whatever the fine was. And I said, hell no. And I said, let me call Greenpeace. And I called Greenpeace and then explained to them, no, I called the American Civil Liberties Union. That's what I did. I called the ACLU. And they said, no, that's unconstitutional. And that's been decided by the, you know, Supreme Court of the United States and such and such by such and such and whatever. And, uh, but then Greenpeace, because uh, <coughs> I'm, pro I'm sure probably the reason is, I think probably if, uh, if the, uh, uh, if Greenpeace had said that they would, pay for the court case. I'm sure probably the ACLU, probably, I'm guessing, the way this works is, you know, like the ACLU says, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll take the case. It's already been to the Supreme Court. Well, whatever. I'm sure probably, though, uh, the ACLU probably called Greenpeace, and Greenpeace said, no, we're not going to spend the money or the time or anything else uh, uh, the person is just going to plead guilty. So, <laughs> don't send me a Greenpeace hat. Because I'm not a fan of Greenpeace anymore. This is going to be about a 30 minute video. 19 minutes have already gone by. So, for somebody who has no script or no idea what he's going to say, uh, I'm not too smart, but... Uh, I've got some stories, but I think everybody does. Uh, I think everybody has stories. Um, uh, 
now I don't have anything to say because I, because I said I because I was bragging that I did have. Um, so if you want to uh, you know send me an email, if you want to get me a hat. Oh, that was what I was going to say. Yeah, that's an important part. Let's say that you you've got a small church or something like that. You know, provided it's not a clan church or you know, something like that. You know, but uh, I mean, I was born and raised a Catholic all the way, even through you know Catholic grade school, Catholic high school. Um, and by the way, I, I worked with a bunch of people who were, and that's in fact my mother's family. <laughs> They were Baptists, and they didn't like Catholics, but they like, well, I don't know about the, but I know uh, uh, my, uh, what, would, what would she be? Uh, my aunt, I guess. And she was, you know, and she did not like the Catholics because she had a, uh, a boy that was born the same time, about the same time that I was born, so at the same age. A baby, and uh, the baby died, and Willie. Now Willie was a really sweet woman, uh, and she put up. Well, her husband was a big-time alcoholic, and uh, she had three children. But anyway, uh, the one that was about the same age as mine, uh, you know, he died, and he wasn't baptized, and somebody told her that the Catholic Church said that if a baby wasn't baptized, that it couldn't get into heaven. And I was not, when she was originally, when she was telling me this, you know, when she mentioned it, you know, and I said, no, that's not correct. And I said, you know, I said, you know, I'm a Catholic, that's not correct. And I said, also, I said, Willie, you know, you know, you know, you know how much your fathers, you know, love their children. And, you know, God is our father, you know. And just think how much more he loves us. And he wouldn't deny a, a baby, you know, getting to heaven, you know. And I said, that's not correct. And she, well, he was really nice. But somebody told her that. And, I mean, even after I told her. You know, no, that's not correct. She's still, you know. But anyway, I went to two different grade schools taught by the nuns, Holy Name in St. Vincent's in Kansas City, Missouri. And I went to Dedal Sound Military Academy taught by the Christian Brothers. <clears throat> and if you're, if you're not a Catholic, uh, you're not going to believe, you know, you're not going to believe this, but it's true. So help me God. Never did the nuns ever say anything negative about any other religion. In high school, the Christian brothers never said anything negative about other religions. In fact, I, I remember, you know, things saying like, you know, the Christian brothers, I mean, you know, the, you know we had like an hour of religion every day, I think. Home, I think that's what homeroom was for those four years. But... Now, did the Catholic, you know, teaching about the Catholic Church, did they say, you know, that, you know, that Jesus founded through, you know, St. Peter, uh, his church, that type of stuff? But they never, ever said, you know, they said, you know, there's Baptists and other people that are more Christian, more religious, and more, you know, than Catholics, some Catholics. So, I give the Catholic Church credit, or, or those, you know, but anyway, um, so uh, if you're interested in sending a hat, oh, okay, I still haven't got to that point. Let's say that you send me a hat for, I don't know what, <coughs> uh, a place that, you know, an organization or whatever that gives food out. To people who need it, you know, what do you call those where you can go there and, and get food or something? If they have a hat or something like that, just make sure it's new. I don't want to get, 
uh, lice or something, you know, so make sure it's new. Um, or if you want to send a t-shirt, make sure it's extra big or something. Uh, then, if you want to, send me some information about the organization and I will, when I get that hat or whatever, I'll do my video and then I'll talk about it and I'll put a, give me the link and I'll, you know, I'll put the link in, I'll talk about it, say I got this hat or t-shirt or whatever and here's their, you know, if, Send me the link so I can go there, or if you have something that's printed, I mean, I can just go there if you have it. They have a site, surely they have a site, and I'll put a little plug in for them. So, I mean, I have a few t shirts and uh, hats, I've got a couple. Uh, I don't know where they are. One's my ham radio hat, and I could wear it, but my license has expired, and I'd feel kind of like I was putting on, you know, pretending to be somebody that I'm not. And I forget what the other hat is. Forget what it is. But this head definitely needs to be, you know, hidden. I don't know how much you can see from that, but not pretty. I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to upload this and I will then have 2,000 videos on YouTube. Feel free to uh, subscribe. Click the thumbs up or whatever that is so you'll get an email each time I post a video. Uh, I'm guessing that you probably have a choice. You know, you don't have to uh, get the thing if you don't want it. The, you know, the, I, I'm sure. Uh, manage videos, customize channel, no, no, I don't know. You know, when you do a YouTube video, when you're a YouTube maker, provider, or whatever they call us, uh, I think we're not sure exactly, you know, what you see. We see a little bit different than what you see. You know, I, I think you can, uh, we, we see a lot different, you know, like customize the channel, manage the uh, videos, uh, all kinds of, you know, there's all kinds of things, a whole bunch. And especially since I'm also paying for YouTube Buddy, there is a tremendous amount of stuff that uh, pops up that gives us if we're paying them, you know. And their lowest fee, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do, and uh, well worth it. Uh, and uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. See if I remember how to stop this now. <laughs> Maybe I've been up too long. <laughs>